Thanks for stopping by guys and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now today we're not going to be looking at a creation like we normally do. We're, we're going to be talking about a bit of a concept I've had, an idea I've had. In some of the recent dev blogs they've been talking about how engines and other parts are now going to be upgradable as well as some of the older dev blogs have been talking about how engines and stuff are going to be requiring fuel, electricity, and other such means to power them. So with the survival seemingly around the corner, I wanted to talk about the actual usefulness of piston engines. Piston engines have been something that we've been working with for a while in creative. And they've mostly been a gimmick, something for fun, just to mess around with gears, gearboxes, and other such things. But with some of these new updates coming out about survival, I've been questioning how useful they might actually be in a survival sense. So with the electric engines, we know we're going to be using some sort of power source, some sort of battery. Same thing with the gas engine, we're going to be using some sort of fuel. And they've also already talked about how the engines will have to be upgraded, such as the gas engines won't have as much power, they'll need more fuel, they'll be less efficient. And the same thing with the electric engines. So... I honestly want to test to see if piston engines, simple yet useful piston engines, will be viable in survival. This is my little test here just to kind of look at the concept a little bit deeper. The electric engine and the normal gas engine both are set to four ticks, which is half of their normal speeds. Hopefully this should give us an idea of what a non-upgraded engine would be like. And this here is just a very simple two-piston little engine with some basic logic that allows us to switch back and forth between forward and reverse, so that way we don't need a gearbox. So first off, the electric engine set at four. It is more than enough to pull this metal and is actually doing a decent job at it, quite, quite a bit. Quite decent, actually. It is slow, it is chugging along, and that is all right, actually. This is surprisingly doing well. Now let's head over to the gas engine. The gas engine can't even move under this weight. If we crank it up, maybe. But right now this is half. If we go two more ticks, we can just barely get it to crawl, and we probably have to be all the way cranked up just to get it. There we go. All the way cranked up. We can start to get some speed, and we're actually moving. I'm going to hop out of this. I should also note that these are all two-wheel drive. The front wheels aren't powered. But for this to move, we had to go all the way to the top. Let's see if we can go just one below if this will move as well. It'll move in reverse. We'll go forward. It'll go forward slowly. So this is a lot faster than the electric engine, but we did have to crank it up just to get it to move. And like I said before, in survival, these are probably going to be really inefficient and we're going to have to use a lot of fuel to move this sort of weight. So now let's hop over to the piston engine. This has two switches, which is start. And then the second switch is our little reverse switch. So right now we're in reverse, hit number two, we go forward. It's sluggish at first, and it starts to pick up speed. And we move along at a decent rate, similar to that of the electric engine. Now the concept I kind of want to propose is, will these be useful, and will they need fuel? If they don't need fuel, they may just be an infinite power source. And the idea of, yes, they're going to take a lot of resources to build initially, but once you get over all of these resources, just like the logic and all that, you'll have an engine that will run forever without fuel. And if they do need a fuel source, will they be a good alternative to electric engines when you need a lot of torque? In situations like this, we're only using a two-cylinder engine, so it's not the best scenario, but if we're using like a four or five cylinder engine, in which case it would be more powerful than most electric engines, would it then be a viable option for really heavy loads in survival? In a 
compact setup like this, not something really complex with gearboxes, but something bare minimum useful. It's just kind of an idea I've had in my mind for a while, and I wanted to propose it to you guys to see what you think. Will piston engines be something that you could honestly use in survival, either as like a generator to make electricity or some sort of just engine like this to drive a vehicle? And if there's no need for fuel, would it be infinite or will it need to use like electricity or some sort of other power to power the pistons? And a lot of that we're going to have to wait for survival to come out. But I've been messing around with the idea of survival friendly piston engines. So if you guys did enjoy this little concept, this little talk, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps out a lot. And right now, shares help the channel the most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.